what's happening everyone, it's Dom did the Great Hat, and I'm coming today with another Ubisoft bashing topic to be asked. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna make another commentary, but well not for a while anyway, because of my exams and because of what has been happening with me as a person lately, let's just say I haven't been feeling myself lately, I've been quite negative lately and that that will show in this comp. So I I apologize in advance for the fact that this might be a pessimistic commentary. Which it will be anyway. It's a pessimistic subject. And the subject today is how much do you Ubisoft care about the community? Now before I get into the commentary I'm gonna tell you why I made this commentary which is um, a couple of folks from the community, you know, the Mighty Sin and Dub Voice, have posted a fantastic video. You should go watch it. I will link it in the description. Video about support for AC multiplayer, and they've made a lovely little um, not little. It's hopefully going to be big, but a petition to show your support for the AC community and to show Ubisoft that there's still a community and that they should make another multiplayer. And this is a great idea, to be honest, to reach out to them in this manner. And I'm fully supporting the petition, and I will link that in the description too, so you can go write the signatures on this petition, and hopefully, you know, it will get hundreds of signatures, maybe even a thousand if we get lucky. And we'd be able to send that to you, we have to say, look, there is still a community of people who still play AC multiplayer, and you know, I was thinking about this petition, and I thought this is this is a good idea. But then it hit me. Even if the petition was successful and got thousands upon thousands of signatures, would Ubisoft care? Like I know this seems like a strange thing to say, but think about the way that they have interacted in the community, especially over the past couple of years. Okay. At first, Ubisoft were great, they were very supportive, you know, we had Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, you know, we got free DLC, you know, they patched the game regularly, they patched the game in ACR, though maybe not for the best, but you could tell that they were enthusiastic about supporting us in the community, and they cared about the multiplayer. But ever since ACR, things have definitely gone downhill. And we need to ask ourselves why this is. And I will tell you why this is right now, okay? Because I, I'm pretty certain why. It's because the community is small. Ubisoft is a corporation, you know, and especially over the past year, it's been quite a bad corporation. You know, they've been very money grabbing, making their money, you know, you know, with their little fucking accountancy and whatever. And at some point, they would have done a cost analysis. They would have sat down and said, how much does it cost to make Assassin's Creed multiplayer? And how much money do we make from it? Now, I'm going to tell you off the bat here. It will cost hundreds of thousands, potentially millions, to make this multiplayer work, to keep it running. How many people actually buy Assassin's Creed games to play the multiplayer exclusively. I mean, I do, especially since ACR, because in my opinion the single player has been terrible. But how many people actually do? I'm going to say about a thousand people, maybe less. You know, compare that to the cost of the multiplayer and it's small. Compare that to the overall number of people who buy Assassin's Creed every year, millions upon millions, we're talking about 0 0.1, 0 0.2% of the player base here. And they would have decided, is that community worth supporting? No, it's not. It's not worth supporting. And you can tell this. You can see it everywhere. The signs are everywhere that Ubisoft have abandoned us, that they no longer care about the multiplayer, because since ACR, they have not been releasing as many patches. They patched the multiplayer. I don't know how many hidden fixes there are, 
but I would say they patched the multiplayer MV once, twice, three times max in both AC3 and AC4. And yeah, great, they released DLC still, but the DLC was paid, and it wasn't anywhere near as expansive as Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's DLC was, or even ACR's. And in AC4, we didn't even see extra content maps or anything like that. Okay, now think about the response from the Ubisoft end of things, okay? They have been firing a lot of AC multiplayer employees, and I say a lot. Key members of the AC multiplayer team have been fired or have resigned since ACR. Now, to me, that means that something is going on here. Maybe, just maybe, you, these people were passionate about the multiplayer. And Ubisoft maybe said to them that they're not going to support them anymore. So they left or they were laid off. Or maybe they opposed this idea, you know. Ever since these people have left, there has been less passion from Ubisoft. I mean, at first they were supporting us all the time around with ACB and ACR, releasing content patches, etc. far into the year. AC4, how long did the support really, really last for the multiplayer? I'm going to say three months tops. We haven't heard anything from Ubisoft as far as the PvP goes for, for a year now. I would say at least a year. Now think about the community management. I'm not going to name any names because that, that's going to be my policy on my commentaries. I, you know, I constantly <laughs> complain about people, but I'm never going to name them. But let's say there's a certain community manager, and let's call him Bob. <coughs> now, Bob, okay, he doesn't act in the best interest of the community, especially not recently, because Bob has been a naughty boy and he has basically blocked every single prolific member of the community unless perhaps if you're friends with him and I'm not even talking about the people like me who constantly criticize Ubisoft I'm talking about good-hearted members of the community people who have contributed a lot in the form of tournaments and content and they're being blocked by this guy maybe not even if they've been talking to him Maybe just if they've been vocal about the future of AC multiplayer. And to me, this can only mean one thing, and it means, right, either this man is a debt, like, useless, or he is being told by Ubisoft not to pay attention to us anymore, because we are complaining. They want to move on with their shitty co-op in AC Unity, and they want to leave us for the dead. So they have told the community manager, don't listen to them because they are no longer relevant. There is not an AC multiplayer anymore. Don't listen to them. And you know what? I think that's what's happened to it. Because unless if this man really is a terrible, terrible community manager, like that's the only thing here which makes any sense to me. And it explains everything, you know, it explains why there's been no patches, it explains why Ubisoft have not been talking to us, it explains why if you post anything about PvP on the forums, they don't respond to you, they no longer care about the PvP. And, you know, I hope they prove me wrong, I hope PvP comes back better than it was, they might have even listened to us, but you have to take it with me. Now, I think that's why this petition is important. This is our opportunity, hopefully, to show Ubisoft that there are still people out there who care about the multiplayer and that Ubisoft should be supporting and not abandoning as a minority. And that is why I want all of you to go click on that link in the description and sign the petition and show Ubisoft that we are willing to support the multiplayer even if they aren't okay now i'm going to wrap up here because this gameplay 
I hope you enjoyed it, by the way. I mean, you probably didn't, because it's bad gameplay. I quite liked it, though, you know, the free-running aspect of this map. So I thought I would upload it. You might not have liked it. You probably didn't, because it's bad gameplay. But I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. But I'm going to end the commentary here, because otherwise it's going to run over the match. So, yeah. I hope you take this on board. And I hope it influences your choices in the multiplayer and in the petition and everything. Have a good time.